marching band together, so we brought some of those marching cadences to the table, and we started doing a song just with drums, and Perry would do more of a, I guess, a chant, and that became Chip Away. Now, there's a great story. We had these containers we were using for about a year for Chip Away, and we finally had our first show in London, so we flew everything to London, and we got to the show at Brixton Academy, and our drums weren't there, so we, you know, we found out at Customs they were actually vats for chemical, some kind of like illegal chemical. We were banging on them for a year without realizing that. So we ended up buying like uh, just kind of like you know beer coolers, and everyone had a different size beer cooler, and we put a mic in it, and that became the new way of playing chip away. Now we're using big cannons, like big floor toms, etc. But yeah, it really started with the drum cadence that me and Navarro were doing in marching band, and um, yeah. Dave, when Dave was in the marching band, he was actually on snare drum. When I met him, he goes, I don't play drums, I'm a guitar player, but I just want to be around drummers. And I was like, oh, that's cool, man. And I played with a lot of great guitar players, but I never played with anybody like Dave until that point. So I was like, oh, really? You play? Let's get together. Can you do, you know, Highway to Hell? And he's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I can do that. So that's really basically all my friends could do. That was the one song they could play. And when I got together with Dave, he was already, you know, doing every Hendrix, every Zeppelin, every Van Halen tune that was done. We were partners, cooked. But uh, yeah, he was a great, he's a great drummer, and that's how Chip Away came about. And we do that almost every show, and we, you know, it gets tribal, it's fun, yeah. And we have other drummers come and join us if they're around, which is cool. On Lollapalooza 91, we had 10 drummers every night play that. Uh, Will Calhoun from Living Color, a great drummer who's passed away, Beatmaster V from uh, Body Count. He was part of it. Another great drummer who played with Nine Inch Nails who's also passed away, um, Jeff. I, I forget his last name, but there's a couple of drummers who aren't with us anymore that were on that tour. Uh, anything else? Any other questions on Mountain Song? Yeah.